All right. Well, as we know, our matriculants are currently writing their National Senior Certificate exams, and there's been lots of stress, lots of challenges, I'm sure, over the past couple of weeks. And so uh, last week, we started the Biostrath exam challenge, where we are going to be following the progress of four matriculants uh, in their progress throughout their exams and see how they do. And so this morning, we've invited educational psychologist Anel Annandale to chat to us about how to improve your concentration, especially during the exam time which is a very stressful one. Thank you very much for joining us, Anel. Pleasure, thank you. Um, I guess the, the, the first question to ask is, why is it that people have different um, spans of concentration? Some of us can focus on a task for three hours and just do it the entire time while others just can't do that. They can't even focus for five seconds. Yeah, yeah. there definitely are fluctuations. And I think what's interesting is the research shows that actually most of us can only concentrate for about 20 minutes, 20 before, we minutes. Yeah, before we have to refocus ourselves. But for, for that fluctuation or the difference really comes down to interest. The more interested you are in something, okay. the more you'll be able to concentrate on it. Mm -hmm. I think most of our matriculants will know that with their subjects. <laughs> But then, of course, there are external factors like fatigue, fluctuating blood sugar levels, and, of course, then concentration difficulties like yeah. ADD and ADHD. Yeah, and that can result also like in a lot of anxiety because the less you're able to focus on a task, you find yourself like this where you have a few hours of, of preparation left, the exam is literally tomorrow morning, and now it feels like because you can't focus or concentrate long enough, <laughs> ah, something is wrong. So let's talk about ways in which one can improve your levels of concentration and if there are any methods that can help you improve. I think the most important thing is that exams tend to throw us out of balance. So we have to try and get back into balance like that. So stock the fridge with lots of healthy food. Mm. Um, make sure that you eat regularly. Make sure that you sleep well. Um, and then also a nutritional supplement could be really, really important at this stage. Mm -hmm. um, we know that stress is really bad for the immune system and yes. the last thing you want to do right now is get sick. Hmm. So make sure you really look after your body very well. Yeah. Tell me about the, the, the sleeping thing, right? Um, uh, making sure that your brain is well rested when you have to weigh up between either studying late into the night or the early hours of the morning, burning the midnight oil, as they say, or getting enough rest and just kind of going, you know what, you've done all that you can for this examination. Rather get some rest so that when you do write, your brain is awake enough to remember the stuff that you actually did study properly. W which side do you fall on there? Always choose sleep. Yeah. Sleep is the most important thing because that's when your brain stores everything that you've studied. Yeah. So you might study through the night and then when you write the exam, your brain doesn't know where to find that information. Absolutely. All right, so let's talk about some things that, specific things that we should be doing or avoiding when it comes to our levels of concentration. And as I said earlier on, it applies to either concentration at work because there's a lot of stress, especially this time of the year, making deadlines or in, a, in the sense of a matriculant uh, who's now writing exams. It's, it's a kind of a deadline too <laughs> on its own. So what can we do and what should we be avoiding uh, the night before an exam? For I think as far as you can avoid the stress. Yeah. And so that would mean being prepared, preparing well in advance. And that comes down to not only studying, but all the little things. Make sure you have five or six extra pencils. You have two or three extra rulers. Yeah, yeah. Um, avoid caffeinated drinks and snacks as so far no as you can. So no coffee before the exam, guys. No coffee. Drink water. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. So okay. those kind of things, make sure that you're well prepared, you've got all your stuff ready. Exercise, do something relaxing before bed. Try not to study till the last minute. Um, yoga, mindfulness, all very important practices. Just breathe. That's the Just most important breathe. things. Decrease that, that uh, stress level. And I'll thank you very much for joining us this morning. And uh, hopefully that has helped you uh, to get into that mode, especially on this Monday morning as you continue your challenge of the National Senior Certificate Exams. Or, of course, if you are working on your levels of concentration at work. Now, if you're looking to get an extra boost of concentration for these exams, get onto social media where you can stand a chance of winning a grand prize of a stationary starter pack for 2009 and Biostrath products to the value of 3,000 Rand to get you off to the right kind of start in 2019. You can simply uh, head onto our social media pages and tell us how you would Bios or how would Biostrath help you with your day day-to-day -day challenges and don't forget to include hashtag Biostrath exam challenge. Good luck! Only Biostrath gives your body more than 60 of the essential nutrients it needs every day. Biostrath, get what you need naturally.